16, Sean Allen. 15, Bernard Dwyer. Salford, number one, Paul Fletcher. Number two, Bentley. Three, Austin. Four, Kieran O'Loughlin. Five, Fazakali. Standoff half, the ex Saint Peter Glynn. Seven, Darren Bluer. Eight, Steve Herbert. Number nine, Groves. Ten, Schubert. Eleven, Pendlebury. Number 12, Smith. And number 13, Mick McTighe. Two substitutes, number 14, Moylan. And number 15, Whiteley. The Salford team enter the field in their uh, Australian type kit. Last season's game, very close four to fair. Saints gaining the two points with a last gasp try from Roy Haggerty. Tonight's referee is Mr. Berry of Batley. Saints captain tonight, Chris Arkwright, following on from Sunday's match against Lee. Recently uh, renamed in the Great Britain squad, Chris Arkwright. And it's Salford to get the game underway. Helen's forwards getting ready to receive the kickoff, which will no doubt be kicked for territory. And the first touch for Harry Pinner. Harry Pinner meets a tackle of Groves. Lip trot acting half back. Arkwright. It's Paul Forber. Excellent game last Sunday against Lee. And referee Berry clamping down on, holding down in the tackle. Paul Laughlin with the attempted kick to touch, not satisfied with the ball. Referee agrees. Now we're able to resume. Paul Laughlin finds touch. <coughs> Graham Liptrot with the tap, looking for his forward battering rams. Smith in with a tackle for Salford. On the Paul Round. Arkwright straightens up. Saints move the ball right, Pinner. Pinner well spotted there by two Salford tacklers. Lip trot, Clark a first touch. Referee Berry waves play on. Lip trot holding with the attempted grubber kick. Salford have it. Play the ball. Paul Forward in very determined style. Play on Roy Haggerty. Advantage there by referee Berry. Obvious forward pass. 
Clark acting half back. Assault for three quarters, up very quickly. It's Chris Arkwright shakes one off, shakes two. Very hard to tackle Chris Arkwright once he gets going. The Saints line up. Harry Pinner to Haggerty. Graham Liptrot, Pinner once again. Looking for the gap. No way through Clark, backing up there. Graham Liptrot works the blind side. Has he found touch? Yes, the linesman signals. So, the first scrum of the match. Salford to put the ball in. The shape of Darren Bloor. Beg your pardon, it's Neil Holdings put him. Holding. Holding to Pinner. Pinner to Beavers. Or Laughlin has him. Now Saints can go both ways here. Lip Trot works the blind side. Arkwright holding Haggerty, running wide. Holding Arkwright, Clark, Pinner. No runners for Harry Pinner there. Salford trying to break away. Steve Herbert, very solid customer at prop. Paul Farber with the tackle. Saints three quarters up very quickly. Referee Berry does the tackling for the Saints forwards there. Darren Bloor, the ball with the shoving with uh, Paul Round off the ball. All is explained. Referee Berry penalises Paul Round for an offence on the tackle player. Tig, who is now fit to resume. Salford taking the goal kick. Taking the kick will be Salford's number three, Greg Austin. Sand not required. Unusual these days to find a divot of such proportions made on the field of play. Still some indecision with the sand boy. And a chance for Salford to open their account. Never had the legs really, had the direction. Fieldy by Phil Beavers. Takes the ball away, dummies. Well tackled. Saints trying to get out of their own 25. Salford defence up very quickly again. Chris Arkwright trying to break his way through. Ball round in support. Well tackled by Pendlebury. And Peter Glynn. Lip trot. Arkwright again. Clark. Neil Holding. Referee waves play on. Holding in, good ball to Haggerty, running wide. Haggerty to Ledger. The defence closes in. In the end, he's grasped by his 
Former teammate, former colleague Peter Glynn. Lip trot, holding. Pinner. Pinner to holding once again. Holding, looking for the gap. Plays it back to Arkwright. Saints looking desperately to find the gaps. And Lip trot goes blindside, holding with a little grubber kick through. And that's for Zachary. Gaining valuable yardage for Salford. Bluer. Steve Herbert, very popular figure here. The Willows. Groves. Bluer. Well held there by the Saints. Chris Arkwright and Paul Farber. Peter Glynn. Great prompter these days, Peter Glynn. Bill Beavers takes it away for the Saints. He had three quarters with him to the right. They're here now, Pinner. Roy Haggerty running wide. Well tackled. Kieran O'Loughlin. Graham Liptop trying to dummy his way through. Saints looking for the line out here. Harry Pinner, who's running with him. Very static play from the Saints at the moment. No support for Pinner. And Salford come away with the ball. That's Herbert. Peter Glynn. Pendlebury dummies. Salford have it. Good rugby. The kick over. And what's referee Berry Given? Obstruction given by Mr. Berry. Salford will doubtless run it here. Another chance for Salford to get some points on the board. And that's one tackle gone to waste there. Turf that must be quite greasy after the overnight rain. Peter Glynn as ever in this Salford side doing the playmaking. Paul Fletcher trying to force his way through. Now Salford trying to get the numbers on this left hand side of the field. Peter Glynn. Very much the danger man Peter Glynn. This game these days is much, is much about the astute pass rather than the burst of speed. Well, Salford in the end running out of numbers. Well, Ron, your uh, view so far on the game? Well, Alex, uh, Salford uh, looking a bit more lively than Saints. Saints seems to be getting tangled up in the self. Uh, Salford looking for a way through, creating a few more gaps. Uh, but nothing yet. Yes, I'm sure once these uh, forwards start to run off Harry Pinner, we shall see an immediate improvement. This is Neil Holding. Holding beats, beats his marker, tries to force his way through. Brett Clark acting halfback. Clark to Pinner. Bounces off Paul Farber's knee. Salford have it again. And the referee Berry has seen something else. Untoward in the tackle. Liam Liptrot, the uh, somewhat unlikely offender. Referee indicating a stiff arm. Once again, the attempted kick to touch, uh, for goal rather. Greg Austin. Not the most difficult uh, kick he's likely to take in his career. Yeah, two points. Well, Ron, is that uh, deserved on run of play so far? Well, as I said before, they've been attacking well, uh, backing up well. They've been spotting up on Saints, uh, not giving Saints any room. They've looked. Uh, a bit more um, attacking, as I say, 
Uh, referee must have seen something in the tattle there with Lip Trout to penalise him right in front of the sticks and two points to nil uh, Salford in the lead now. Salford regained possession from the kickoff. Running across field. This is potentially a good ball. Now, where's the support? Diving tackle by Phil Beavers. Peter Glynn. Peter Glynn to the big prop Schubert. Blew a very gangly scrum half. Salford finding the half gaps here. The referee Berry once again penalises the Saints. Certainly Salford uh, ahead on the penalty count so far. Not exactly endearing himself to the uh, St Helens supporters. Now Salford again. Steve Herbert trying to force his way through. Peter Glynn lurking dangerously in midfield for Salford. Schubert, it's another good run. Referee uh, Berry once again stops the play for an off the ball incident. There's certainly a Salford player on the floor. Let's confess I didn't see it. I was following the play. And uh, Roy Haggerty is given his marching orders. Now we're not quite sure these days whether that is a sending off offence or is it a sin bin offence, Ron? Well, uh, referee's uh, sent Roy Haggerty off. We can only presume. I don't know if it's sin bin are off together. He hasn't actually uh, pulled a red card out. Um, I don't know what the procedure is this season, but uh, Agate is off the, after 30 minutes uh, play for an off-the-ball incident. And therefore a penalty to Salford. Well, once again, uh, chances for Salford to increase their lead. Certainly the linesman saw something untoward. Roy Haggerty uh, ran at some pace back towards the dressing room. Austin again with the attempted uh, penalty, which of course is successful. And it'll be Neil holding to restart. Harry Pinner trying to offer various words of encouragement. Neil holding will doubtless kick for territory. Salford come at the Saints' defence once again. And once again, the St Helens players fall foul of Mr. Berry. Talking to Chris Arkwright. Well, Ron, your views on that? Well, he seems very keen, this referee. What are we supposed to do? Can we not tackle him now? Uh, I mean, he's, uh, he's been at us all, all the time. We, you know, it's a, it's a body contact game. We've got to get him on the grass, and that's it. Like, and if they won't go down, obviously, he's seen someone in the tackle. Uh, he wanted Pinner to come over, presuming Pinner was captain, but it was Arkwright. Arkwright was telling him he was the captain, but he didn't want to know. But in the end, he has him and Paul Farber, and uh, off we go again. Salford once again have it. Saints tackling, uh, Saints tackling robust. Saints cover defence up very, very quickly. The menace of Peter Glynn always apparent. And that's the Salford second row, Smith. Chris Arkwright and Brett Clark involved. And a little tussle there. Salford for spectators getting very agitated now. Bloor, very good short ball. 
Groves, Bluer, Peter Glynn, the hub of everything. Couldn't quite time the, the runner. Paul Farber, running wide. Saints will be looking to uh, get to that far end of the field. They've not had much uh, territorial advantage so far. A lack of support at the moment by the Saints. Neil Holding switches to the blind side. Phil Beaver's up. Kicks successfully to touch. Listen, tell inside now we'll have to work especially hard without the uh, runs of Roy Haggerty. Darren Blow to put the ball into the scrum, which collapses almost immediately. And referee Berry, uncharacteristically, gives uh, St Helens the penalty for a scrum offence. Herbert appears to be the offender. He was the last one up anyway. Resemble more a chicken scratch in a scrum. Now it's Saints on the attack. A bit of territory, but last Paul Round driving his way through. Passes out to the tackle. Graham Liptop with the attempted uh, long pass. The cover defence was there. This is Neil Holding. Neil Holding works the run around with Pinner. Once again, Chris Arkwright uh, has a lot to do. Clark to Round. In the centre position, Brett Clark again gets the ball away to Liptrot. Liptrot the long ball to Holding. Tries to sidestep and dance his way past the defence unsuccessfully. Harry Pinner. Harry Pinner beats one. There's the runner. Paul Forber. Good support by Paul Forber. This is more like the Saints. Salford tacklers taking the time. Pinner again. Clark. Clark. Unfortunately, uh, Chris Arkwright couldn't hold it. Well, Ron, that's more like the Saints. Yeah, it's looking a bit more lively, Harry, say. Harry Pinner uh, creating a bit of a gap there. Over to Paul Farber, got plenty of attention over there, but referee wasn't bothered about that. Uh, ball comes back over here to Clark, juggles it a bit uh, to uh, Arkwright, created the gap. Unfortunately, he uh, dropped the ball, but managed to kick through. Follow up on the ball, anyway, it's a scrum down now. Um, right in front of the sticks. Salford have it. Good tackle there. Can't go without the legs. Neil Holding. Peter Glynn prompting. That's a good ball. That's good rugby from Salford. Now the support's here. That's the number five for Zachary. All the support was there from Salford. That has got to be a chance missed. That has got to be a, a chance missed. Superb ball initially from Peter Glynn. And when Fazakali cut inside, there were four or five Salford attackers in a good position. <laughs> Referee Berry not satisfied with the put in there. Scrum very uneven. Heads popping out all over the place and Tellings have it. Bill Beavers. Paul Farber. Got away with the knock on but eventually lost possession. And eventually Mr. Berry gives the knock on. Darren Blow to feed. Peter Glynn. Looking for the ball inside. Oh, Laughlin. Laughlin loses the ball in the tackle. Steve Halliwell. Trying to wrestle his way out.
Halliwell loses it. Salford worked the blind side. Once again, Salford possession. Salford should work this down the left. Saints covers there now. Salford working the blind side again. That's the big number 10, Gary Schubert. Ball comes down the line. Herbert. Herbert can't get his pass out. Peter Glynn. Last tackle. What's Glynn going to do? Hoist a high ball, superbly taken by Beavers. That's his strength after all. Hardly a bomb in the true sense by Peter Glynn. Paul Laughlin driving forward. That's a good run. Now, where are these Italians forwards now? Harry Pinn and no runner. Paul Round caught the ball and caught a few tackles almost at the same time. Saints desperately looking for the gaps. Arkwright. Pens off one. Pens off two. Interacting half back, working the blind side. Big Paul Farber. Support on the inside. Graham Liptrot. Well played, Graham. Brett Clark acting half back. Harry Pinner. Pinner offloads. Arkwright. That's the first handover of the match. Presumably, presumably the Salford player didn't play the ball correctly after the handover. Come on, Ronnie, wake up. The first kickable penalty to St Helens. Well, Ron Saints, uh, very much at sixes and sevens at the moment. Yes, Alex, very upside down. As hey, uh, we're looking not to be more points behind uh, Salford here. A good uh, break, uh, three, four, five man overlap. Uh, good play by Fazakli went inside, beat Ledger. Uh, unfortunately for Salford, uh, one of the forwards knocked on. Uh, first chance to get points on the board. Brilliant kick there by Lachlan. Brilliant kick, 30 yards out. Uh, Saints back in the hunt now, just trailing four points to two. Paul Lofton certainly looks as though he's got his kicking boots tonight. Yes. It's pegged the Salford lead back. A little Barry Ledger picks up, meets a solid wall of tacklers. Pinner looking for support, trying to dummy his way through. Graham Liptrot, Chris Arkwright lurking menacingly. Arkwright, ball round. Ball round to Laughlin, the defence is there straight away. And for Zachary, Ledger, round again. Fens one off. Fens McTigg off, Herbert and Schubert eventually put him to the turf. And the referee, Berry, tries to straighten the account somewhat. Offside in the middle of the field, Ron? Yes, not before time, Alex. We've been lying up all the match. Unfortunately, it's the first time he's uh, actually decided to uh, penalise him. And gives a free kick, Albert. That is a... Well, he's just kept in it. <laughs> it would have been an absolute monster kick by Paul Laughlin, as it... Uh, as it is, well taken by Fazakali. This is promising from Salford, but the pass goes astray. Now Brett Clark will pick up for the Saints. Dodges, weaves out of the tacklers. Pinner. Pinner to Arkwright. Saints running out of numbers. Paul Laughlin in here. Slam the brakes on Paul Laughlin there. Lip trot, Harry Pinner. Paul Farber. A bit more promising now for the Saints. They're getting players in supporting positions. Now 
that's all right. Referee Betty waves play on. Ball didn't go forward. Nip trot. Holding. Going across field. Looking to offload. That's Paul Farber. Last tackle now. What? Saints got up the sleeve here. And the ball goes to ground. The Saints' latest Australian import, Brett Clark. As yet, um, to show, really shows what he can do. Just once again, just for a change, the scrum collapses. Scrum's not very tidy in this particular game. Referee Barry making sure the packs go to their correct position. And Blue feeds the scrum. Goals works the blind side. The Saints tacklers are there. Saints will be looking to keep Salford down here. And perhaps uh, gain possession themselves. Once again, the gaps are appearing now for Salford. Now, O'Loughlin uh, chose to go inside when he had support on the outside. Made it somewhat easier for the St. Helens cover. Salford swing it across field. Peter Glynn with a very good kick. Catching uh, Phil Beavers out of position there. Very astute footballer, Peter Glynn. Very much uh, the danger man in this Salford side. Neil Holding puts the ball in once again. Doesn't go in first time. Salford try and collapse the scrum. And we shall try for the third time. This time, referee Berry satisfied. Clark's well spotted there. Not given much of a chance. An offence at the play of the ball, the attempted play of the ball, gives Saints the penalty. Paul Laughlin with the kick to touch. Graham Liptot with the tap. In come the Saints. Comes the Saints first man in, Paul Farber. In place of the injured Tony Burke tonight, Paul. Saints desperately looking for the gaps. Paul Round loses it. Lots of possession lost in the tackle tonight so far. Chris Arkwright and Harry Pinner in with the tackle. That's Darren Bluer, another danger man in the Salford team. Peter Glynn in support, out of shoving away at the tackle. This is Fletcher. Fletcher. Referee Barry uh, quite correctly gave the forward pass. But once again, Ron, the gap's appearing for Salford. Yes, yeah, gap's appearing again. They look very dangerous as they get uh, near our 25 yard line. Referee was right there. It was a forward pass, uh, no danger. Uh, scrum down now, just. Uh, 15 yards from Saints line, Saints win the ball, Neil Holding brings it away. Out to uh, Steve Alliwell, takes it over to the left-hand side of the field. Back to you, Alex. Yes, this Salford fullback Fletcher is certainly a dangerous customer, as he proved in the corresponding league match at the Willows here last season. Saints forwards bunching uh, somewhat at the moment. Chris Arkwright trying to spark things off. Arkwright always dangerous when he runs straight. Lip trot. Harry Pinner looking for the runner. Yeah. 
Nick Charles Pinner. Harry Pinner with the uh, grubber kick. He's kept it in. The Saints tacklers are there. Good ball out of the tackle. Not really the sort of self safety first football, but uh, they got away with it. Referee Betty penalises. The St. Helens tackler once again. to restart just outside the 25 yard line with a tap Salford front row inevitably trying to batter their way up to half to the halfway line that's Nick McTighe well held by Chris Arkwright Salford taking the ball left the miss move Barry Ledger retrieves for the Saints Holding acting half back. Brett Clark. Graham Liptrot. Ball round. Beats one, beats two. Tackler's come back for more. He loses it. In the tackle. And we have yet another scrum. The Saints have certainly done well with their possession from the scrum so far tonight. It's Paul Brown receiving some attention. Certainly had plenty of attention tonight so far. The Saints really, so far, uh, yet to really get into this game. Certainly come away with it, Neil Holding. Clark trying to break through. Graham Liptrot was on the blind side. Phil Beavers, a lack of numbers here for the Saints. Paul Laughlin tackled straight away. Wasn't really much on there for the Saints. Beavers, Liptrot. Beavers tries to retrieve. Well, even with 12 men on the field, the, the support hasn't been good tonight. The man with the ball, Chris Arkwright, once again, driving his way through. Always looks dangerous. Lip trot. Pinner with the attempted switch move. This is Paul Round, getting a bit of steam up Paul Round. Now, the Saints set up. Graham Lip trot. Looks for the support. Saints try and keep it alive, but the Salford defence is there. Driving the Saints back in possession. Pinner. The jink his way through, the support, Chris Arkwright. Mr. Berry once again gives the forward pass. He you reckon it was forward one? Yes, I think it was there, Alex. Saints obviously trying to open the gaps up. We've not been able to uh, create a way through the Salford defence yet. They have been tattling hard. Uh, so we're a man down and uh, we've just got to find the way through. Five minutes left of this first half. We could do, do we get in a try and a goal on the board before we go going for the turn round? Uh, somebody on the state side has got to get a grip of this uh, game for us and uh, we've got to start playing as a team. We've just been uh, not putting it together at all. The game continues. The Salford game possession from the scrum. Phil Beavers halts any Salford progress. Excellent tackle. <laughs> Phil Beavers again. Salford coming away, up to halfway now. It's been a very dour first half. Peter Glynn with the dummy. 
So Smith in support. Well, a very misplaced kick. And Saints retrieve possession. But do with a try before half time to boost the confidence. Pin it to Arkwright. Arkwright again with the break. Now the support here. Missed out Paul Laughlin. Picked out Barry Ledger. Forced to go inside. Releases to Chris Arkwright once again. Clark, dummy half. Graham Liptrop, ties to also dummy his way through. Neil Holding, acting half-back. And the run around with Harry Pinner. There's the runner. Once again cries for a forward pass. Lip trot. Superb ball out of the tackle. Neil Holding follows up in superb style. Well, we've been talking about supporting the man with the ball. Graham Liptrop dummied. Neil Holding on hand there, Ron. Yes, well, we finally put it together, Alex. As I say, initial spade work just inside Salford half by Chris Arkwright. He's the only one that seems to be able to uh, break the tattle and slip the ball out. It finally went over the left. Uh, Paul Farber in, uh, in with the attack. Little slip ball to Neil Holding. You know, he doesn't need telling twice from 25 yards out. Uh, beat two men and just went in uh, to the right hand side of the post. Should be an easy conversion for Paul Lachlan. Anyway, Saints in the lead now, six points to four. Lachlan lining up for this conversion. Just to the right of the post, 15 yards out. Slots it, bang between the sticks. Eight points to four now for Saints. About three minutes left of this first half. Thank you, Ron. Well, we were saying it's uh, always a good time to score just before half-time, and the Saints have, ju have done just that. Good play by Graham Littrot, and good support by Neil Holding. Once again, the... Uh, The restart by Salford. Saints, no doubt, with a couple of minutes left, will be looking for further points. Paul Farr with that characteristic kick start. No Roy Haggerty. Sent off for a head high tackle. Certainly not Sinbin. Saints playing with 12 men and have the lead so far. Peter Glynn backing instructions out. Paul Laughlin sends the, the ball deep into the Salford half. Now. <laughs> well... The Saints tacklers had to wait to give the five yards. The Salford man took his eye off it. The error came, and there's another chance for the Saints here. Neil Holding to put the ball in. A good omen for the Saints. Saints have it. Neil Holding tries to force his way through. Now let's see if the Saints can capitalise on this possession. View a few seconds to go, really, before half-time. Chris Arkwright. The numbers are to the right. Harry Pinner. Paul Round running off in. The tackle's come in. Paul Round still going. Paul Round gets it out to Clark. Clark. Looking for support. Trying to jink his way through. The position's still good here for the Saints. A possible second try. Solve the defence up uh, quickly. Some would say rather too quickly. Graham Liptrot. And has he given it? Referee Berry 
gives the try there and it looks like uh, Harry Pinner who's forced his way over well Ron we've said this all along the short pass the support will provide uh, the necessary results yes yeah, true Alex very true well again Saints backing up well as you said a little short crisp pass holding having a jinking run through through to uh, Br Brett Clark uh, did a bit of jinking about unfortunately no way through for him uh, he only arrived uh, with us yesterday so uh, we get to see the best of him obviously he'll have to uh, probably be a bit jet lagged and anyway Pinner up in support over to the left of the post unfortunately Lachlan missed the conversion and there's the hooter for half time uh, Saints going in with a 12 points to 4 half time lead Back with you now for the second half of this uh, Salford Saints game. Saints in the lead, 12 points to four. My name's Ron Hoof. I'll be with you for the next 40 minutes. Neil Alden to kick off now. Kicks down to the cantilever stand. Taken by Salford fullback Fletcher. Drives forward. Approaching the 25 yard line. Bundled down by Harry Pinner with Chris Arkwright in support. Salford moving it left now with McTeague. Looking for the way through. Hard run of this Matt Teague. Salford moving it left again. Herbert gets the ball out. Still looking live with this Salford outfit. Schubert across the line to Peter Glenn. Looking for the way through. Well tattled by Graham Littrott. Fletcher up again in support. Taking the ball forward just short of the halfway line. Ball coming back for the kick up field. Short kick through by Peter Glenn, well taken by Phil Beavers. Phil Beavers linking up well today as he did Sunday's match against Lee where he won the Man of the Match award. Up to Graham Lipchot. Over to Steve Halliwell. No way through. Good tattling by this Salford outfit. They've had two and three men in the tattle. At each tattle, smothering the, the uh, Saints' chances of getting the ball out. Whereas Saints' tattling has been a left a lot to be desired Farber now, can't get him to ground but finally plays the ball to lip trot, moving it right to Holding loop with Arkwright, oh brilliant gap by Holding chips over the full back's head, chase for the line can he pick up, oh just misses the ball Brett Clark in support, yes he touches down, no, the referee ruled it, dead ball it looks as though it was in the field of play to me just but the referee was right on the spot and it's real dead. Salford uh, play the ball at 25 yard line now, bringing the ball forward. Unlucky there by Saints, good bit of uh, adventurous play by Neil Holding, but uh, it didn't pay off. Bluer coming away, she sells an outrageous dummy, but finally brought to ground by Paul Round. Penalises Paul Round, Bluer was cabbaging, but uh, Round didn't like it, and uh, brought him uh, to the ground, and he's penalised for it. So for number three, Austin, to take this penalty kick to touch. Midway between the 25-yard line and halfway line in Saints half. Herbert bursting through. Well, pit free kick to Saints must be yes. Never played the ball. Just took it out of Herbert's hands. This. Uh, Number 13, Ruddy, just took it out of his hand, never even played the ball. Penalty to Saints. Lachlan, it's a kick. Just gets it on the halfway line. First penalty the second half to Saints. Hanging around for a ball here. Finally get the ball, Graham trot. Quick play of the ball to Paul Farber. Paul Farber running hard, down this uh, left hand wing. Kevin McCormick, captain half back, moves it right, Graham Liptrot to Arkwright. Looking for the gap, Arkwright. He finally gets the ball out to Neil Holding. Looking for the jinking through, Phil Vivas in support. As ever, good ball out to Vivas to Lachlan. Well taken by Lachlan. Inside to Barry Ledger. Barry Ledger jinking through, looking for the way through. Brought down 10 yards short of Stalford try line. Quick play of the ball, Vivas again. Out to Holding, over to Liptrot. 
Harry Pinner inside to Paul Round. Paul Round looking out to unload, but no support there. Graham Lipdrot again, acting half back. What? Peter Glenn wouldn't let Round up, but uh, referee's not interested. Short ball to Pinner, on to Brett Clark. Looks a bit uh, high the tattle, but. Uh, Yes, he's finally penalised. He wouldn't let him get up to play the ball. He should have been penalised before that. Well, Alex, a uh, little bit of uh, professionalism. Yes, but uh, Salford have got a lot of penalties out of exactly the same thing. A lot of offences given by referee Berry at the play of the ball. He's been very particular. One particular uh, thing about this referee is... He's not easily heard when he shouts held, and there's been a lot of controversy about this uh, in the tackle run. Yes, Alex, that's true. Anyway, Paul Lachlan lining up now to attempt to kick this penalty conversion. Yes, makes no mistake between the post there. Saints further in the lead now. 14 points to four. And five minutes gone of this second half. Salford to kick off now. Austin kicks over to the left, taken by Barry Ledger first time. Ledger looking for a way through, just over the 25 yard line. Graham Lipcott, as ever, acting half back. Takes it left. Salford tattling very ferocious there. McTeague up and uh, goes in and out. All over to Pinner, to Arkwright. Arkwright takes him on. Brought down with two Salford tattlers. Lip shot now. Takes it right to hold in. Paul Farber. Paul Farber brushes one off. Just can't break the second tattle. Salford lying up well. Out to lip trot, holding, feigns a little kick through, but throws a long pass out to Paul Lachlan. But he's well brought down. Last tattle now. Graham lip trot, Phil Vivers. Yes, Phil Vivers kicks for touch, hits the Salford player, and goes into touch right on the halfway line. Scrum down now, right on the halfway line. Nearly seven minutes into this second half. First scrum of the second half. Neil all into feed. Penalised Saints. Going down in the scrum. Salford take the quick penalty kick to touch. Midway between the halfway line and Saints 25 yard line. Herbert, ball out to Herbert, drives forward. Saints bang him down unceremoniously. Arkwright, Harry Pinner, Salford bringing it right. Out to Peter Glynn. It's on the burst. Rolled down by Paul Lachlan, unfortunately. Has the ball, the referee. Referee rules. He shouted. Held. And therefore, scrum down midway. Between the halfway and the 25 yard line now in Saints half. Neil Holden now to feed this scrum. Comes out Saints side. Phil Vivers up in support. Phil Vivers brings the ball away. Quick pass on to Paul Round. So well dumped down by the Salford Tattling. Ball up to Harry Pinner, moving it right. Paul Farber coming through like a train, but uh, Pinner likes to hold the ball, takes on the tattle. Takes two and three of him to get him down. Graham Lipshot. Inside pass to Brett Clark. He's spun round and bundled down. Neil Holding now acting half back. Brings it left to Phil Vivers up in the attack. Ball round. Ball round looking for the way through. Goes in, pick of the ball. Out to Steve Alliwell. Steve Alliwell, little chip kick through, looks for the way through. But the Salford defence is up there. He got a little hampered as he did kick through. Uh, nothing uh, untoward. But uh, the Salford player uh, kicks it dead. And now it's a drop out from under their own posts. So 
Telford dropped the ball out over Brett Clark's head, taken by Kevin McCormick. Kevin McCormick plays the halfway line, running forward, looking for the way through. Brought down by his uh, by uh, Fletcher and uh, Peter Glenn in support. Graham Rittrock acting half back, looking for the way through, gets the little ball out to Neil Alden. Jinx pass one, pass two, beats the full back, gets the ball out to Kevin McCormick. But he's well smothered uh, by uh, Bet the Winger Bentley. Neil Alden plays the ball over to Lip Trot, to Harry Pinner. Lovely ball to Arkwright, steaming for the line, Arkwright. Nobody's going to stop him here, it's just to the right of the post. Lovely, lovely pass ball out there from Pinner to Arkwright. Well, Alex. First bit of attack near Salford line and we make it count. Yes, Ron, well, the Saints have come out for this half with a much more determined air uh, about them. Uh, Graham Littrot certainly is impressed, as too has Neil Holding. He's looking very sharp in the loose at the moment. Uh, it will take a very, very good defence indeed. Dare I say it's an Australian one, perhaps, to stop Chris Arkwright in full flow. And really, the Salford defence didn't have much chance uh, Chris Arkwright running straight and with full steam ahead. An excellent try. Thank you, Alex. Well, Saints going ahead now, 18 points to four, with uh, Paul Lachlan to take this conversion. And he slots it between the sticks. No messing. 20 points to four, Saints in the lead now. Let's hope we don't have a repetition of uh, last season's match and uh, it was a up and down scoring. Saints uh, running well ahead a couple of times, 14 or 16 points and Salford managed to come back. Ended up uh, winning, uh, um, scoring 28 points to 24 late on. Only a try from uh, Roy Haggerty, he saved Al Bacon and the, pen uh, the conversion of course, but uh, Roy Haggerty gone off for the early bath uh, unfortunately in the first half. Anyway, the game restarts. It's off a kick off and Saints take the ball. Ball round there, having a sterling game today. As I say, when you're down to 12 men, uh, you've got to pull all the stops out. He's been running hard all the game, Paul round, getting stuck in, much to the uh, dismay of the Salford spectators. Paul Farber there with the ball, finally brought to grass. Brett Clark acting half back now. Sexy ball left over to Graham Littros again. New inside ball from uh, Pinner to uh, Arkwright. Looking for to slip the ball out. No support there. Clark was up with him, but uh, they had older Clark as he was attempting to go through. Yes. And he's penalised Arkwright uh, for lashing out with his foot in the tattle. Uh, the Salford uh, players wouldn't let him get up to play the ball. Penalty to Salford. Salford with the ball now, trying to drive forward. Saints defence will have to hold out here. Grove, sucked in half-back, moves it left. Long pass to Peter Glynn, looking for space. Lovely inside ball there from Glynn. Created uh, plenty gaps this evening, but unfortunately they haven't been able to capitalise up on it. Lovely ball out to Glynn, from Glynn again. Salford now, 20 yards from Saints try line, moving it right. The ball loose, I think. Uh, referee was play on. Darren Blue are looking for the way through. Well brought down. 10 yards from Saints line now. Salford on the attack. Moving it left. Long ball out there. Slips through. Ball's loose. Barry Ledger up. To the fullback Fletcher. Well brought down there. Salford nearly caught on the hop then. To Austin, Austin the halfback. Ooh, Salford bursting through. Come well back from a deep position. Over to Salford, moving it over to the left. Overlap again there, and Salford can't capitalise on it. Lose the ball, well scooped up by Paul Round. Yeah. Saints, moving it left to Arkwright, to Harry Pinner. Little inside ball to Neil Alden, jinking round, getting tied up with himself to Brett Clark. Brett Clark looking uh, lively. He tries to unload the ball, finally does to Steve Alliwell. Down here on the swing, out to Kevin McCormick. Juggles with the ball, but finally catches it. Still going McCormick, looking for a way through. McTeague there, brings him down. Steve Alliwell acting half-back now, off Kevin McCormick. 
Free kick to uh, Saints. Snatching the ball out of his hand as he attempts to play the ball. Neil Olin now coming to bring up uh, Saints uh, rather on the attack. I think they'll elect to uh, elect to go for touch. No, Paul Lachlan coming up for the kick. Yes, Paul Lachlan going to take the kick at goal. Quarter of an hour gone in the second half. Sean Allen bringing uh, the sand on for him. Salford making a substitute. Number 14, Mylan on. I think we think it's Bentley, the winger that's gone off as Paul Lachlan lines up for this penalty kick. Unfortunately, it pulls it to the left of the posts. As I say, 15 minutes gone in the second half, and Saints uh, in the commanding lead, 20 points to four. Salford with a 25-yard uh, dropout back into Phil Vivers. Phil Vivers looking hungry these uh, first few matches of the season. Drives forward into Saints half. Graham Littrot acting half back. Over to Harry Pinner, left to Harry Pinner. Paul Farber running hard. Paul Farber running hard into Kevin McCormick. Comes in field. No way through for him on the outside. <coughs> Paul Farber acting half back. Out to Lipchot. Over to Harry Pinner looking for the way through. Loses the ball. Salford picked the ball up. Can't afford to lose possession like this. Have to stick all. Quick ball from Peter Glynn. Lovely quick ball from Peter Glynn. Salford moving forward now. Well bundled down by Chris Arkwright. Fletcher running forward. Finally brought to grass by Phil Beavers and uh, Paul Round. Salford bringing it right. Up to Peter Glynn looking for the gap. Lovely quick ball. Lovely ball on there to Smith. Creating the gaps today, Peter Glynn. Salford bring it left. Bluer out to Glynn, looking for the gap through. Ball through to Herbert, we think. Oh. And the final pass goes to, to uh, ground. Lovely quick ball through. Lovely, lovely play by Salford there, Alex. But unfortunately, the final ball uh, goes to ground. Yes, I'm sure on the day this Salford side can produce some uh, fine, free-flowing, enterprising rugby. Uh, Peter Glynn is to this team what uh, Bill Francis uh, used to be for the Saints a few years ago, uh, only without the sidestep. Saints come away with the ball from the scrum, at least uh, one consolation for Saints, they have dominated scrum possession. That's correct, Alex. Phil Vivas acting half-back. Uh, swings the ball out to Chris Arkwright. Chris Arkwright driving forward, bundled down by three Salford Tattlers. Graham Littrop now acting half-back. This is the ball, takes it right. Out to Paul Lachlan. Looking to run through. Well, well flattened there. Well flattened there by uh, the Salford Tattlers. Now he's bringing somebody out for uh, something he's seen in the Tattle. <coughs> Over to you, Alex. Well, oh, Ron. Uh, there are one or two feuds in this game, it seems to me. Um, referee Berry, we'll have to be very careful. Uh, nothing along those lines develops. It's early days yet, but it could quite easily get out of hand. And Saints bring on a substitute. Ron. Thank you, Alex. Saints now awarded the free kick. Play the ball just short of the halfway line. Out to Paul Farber. Paul Farber trying to run through, but this uh, Saints tattling, uh, this Salford tattling, I beg your pardon, well up to it. Uh, two and three, as I say, in the tattle. It's been uh, really good. Inside to Paul Round. Paul Round running forward now. Sean Allen, his first touch of the ball, creates the gap, through to Brett Clark, Brett Clark, jinking forward, tries to unload to Steve Alliwell, but unfortunately, 
It got him off balance and uh, the ball was knocked forward. Salford in possession. Salford number 13, Ruddy, trying to get away through. Herbert with the ball, unloads it out to Groves. Groves looking for a way through, out to Peter Glynn. Peter Glynn fumbles the ball, it goes backwards. Salford lose ground, Neil Olin well up on attack. Salford now trying to come forward towards Saints half. Salford bringing it right. Blue are looking for the way through, unceremoniously dumped down. Last tattle now, Austin tried a little kick through. Not high enough, well taken by Arkwright. Arkwright looking hungry, going forward now. Long pass out to Paul Lachlan. Loses his footing, still comes, still going. Still going, Paul Lachlan, they can't get him down. 20 yards from Saints line now, Saints on attack. Surely they've got to make this count. Phil Beavers as ever, up in attack. Out to Paul Farber, long pass to Barry Ledger, but the ball goes straight into touch. Sean Allen uh, come on for Harry Pinner. Must have uh, another little niggling injury again. Perhaps a surprise choice at uh, Louis Forward tonight, Harry Pinner. Scrum down now, 15 yards from uh, Salford try line. Salford physio on. Twenty-one minutes gone in this second half, and the score twenty points to four in Saints' favour. Well, as they say, he's been on with a magic sponge. Everything's all right. We're scrumming down now. Twenty yards from Saints' line. Salford uh, feed the scrum. Referee's not satisfied. Tries again, yes, the ball comes out, Bluer to Glynn. Glynn looking for the way through, well smothered. Salford bring, trying to bring it forward. Kieran O'Loughlin looking for the way through. Bluer looking for the way through, throws an outrageous dummy, but he's well brought down. He's one of the danger men. Darren Bluer to O'Loughlin, inside. Salford try to get the ball out on the first tackle. Lose the ball, well scooped up by Saints. Sean Allen, uh, linesman here, Paul Round protesting about uh, Salford number 14, I think it is, going in a bit uh, hard on Sean Allen. He's in the back, but uh, the referee's not having any. Well, more importantly, Ron, uh, neither is the linesman. Uh, Allen fell on the loose ball and uh, the knee did seem to go in. We can uh, go back to the Saints' last attacking position. It's a shame that uh, the ball didn't go left, even though Paul Farber plays that cut-out ball uh, wide to the winger very well. It's a shame that Steve Halliwell wasn't given the chance to really show us what he can do. And we reached out. Paul Farber now on attack. Driving hard forward, this lad Farber. Good, strong forward. Liam Lipchot, acting half-back, moves it right to Sean Allen, to Neil Olin. Arkwright, Arkwright beats one, shrugs two off, gets the ball out, through Round's hands, into Holding's hands, Sean Allen. Sean Allen in possession, Neil Holding acting half back, hungry for the ball. Scything kick over into the corner. Ten yards from Salford try line. We're going to have a scrum down now. Good pinpoint kick by Neil Holding. Peg back the Salford players. Scrum down now. Blue to feed. Must have been offside. Comes out Saints side, yes. Penalty to Saints. Blue a court for offside at the scrum. Neil Olin 
quick kick for touch. Five yards from Salford line now. Saints on the attack. Graham Littrot to play this ball. Long ball out to Arkwright. Across to the left to Brett Clark. Paul Lachlan in the line out. Half break. Sean Allen now. Acting half back. Okay. Takes it right on his own. Going on his own, Sean Allen. Still going. Some good Salford title trying to pinch the ball off him. Mr. Berry a bit uh, slow getting in there. Welcome to Lip Trot. To Paul Farber. Paul Farber running hard. Saints got to make this count now. Lip Trot acting half back. Takes it left. Inside to Clark. Oh, lost, loses his foot in Clark, unfortunately. The gap had uh, came there, but uh, he lost his foot in the lad. Take it right. Sean Allen looking for the gap through. Trying to create the gap and Manley gets the ball out to Neil Holding. Over to Brett Clark. Looking for the way through. Ball comes to Phil Beavers. And the referee does the knock on. Well, this uh, Clark, he just can't seem to hold his feet at present, uh, Alex. It's probably the jet lag, uh, Ron. I'm sure we'll, uh, in the matches to come, we'll see the best. I reckon he's got quite a, quite a bit of pace. A little bit uh, untidy from the Saints, but uh, one facet of the game that uh, I'd like to comment on, that's Neil Holding's tactical kicking. I don't think uh, he has enough belief in his own kicking ability. I think he, he could make more, even more of it. He's kicked very well tonight. Salford coming away, just getting over their own 25-yard line, taking it left. Looking for the way through, when unceremoniously bundled down the great tattle, Chris Arkwright and Sean Allen. Salford looking a bit shabby now, standing, standing about, not running onto the ball at all. 25 minutes gone in this second half, out to Peter Glynn. Salford looking the way through, Saints in at the tattling, but they're not smothering the, the ball. The player able to release the ball, if at all possible, unfortunately he wasn't. No support up with him. Salford looking for a way through, he drops the ball. Austin, I think it is. Yes, Austin. Don't know whether he was going to try and kick through, but uh, the ball came out of his hands and it's a knock on. Scrum down now. Midway between the 25 yard line and halfway line in Salford half. They'll to feed the scrum. Straight out the back. Lovely quick ball from Holding. Beavers up in attack again. Oh, Beavers, and he breaks through on his own. A brilliant solo try by Phil Beavers as he touches down right between the sticks. Well, he's played well, played well against Lee on Sunday. Got the man of the match of the award on Sunday. He's been really linked up these first two matches, Phil Beavers. He knows he's got to play for his place there. Brilliant try there by Beavers, Alex. Yes. Uh, Phil Beavers timed his run superbly from the back to join the line. A very astute pass by... Uh, Brett Clark as well. The Salford defence opened up, and uh, Beavers did the rest in his normal uh, with his normal flourish. Saints are most certainly on top. Salford exceedingly dispirited at this stage. Paul Laughlin with an easy conversion, and makes no mistake. Yes, Lachlan makes no mistake. Saints in the lead now, 26 points to four. As we said, brilliant uh, try by Vivas, backing up there from a quick uh, Neil Holding pass. Still had to beat a man, Vivas, but shrugged him off and then picked his feet up and scooted in under the sticks. Brilliant try. Salford to resume now. Deep kick to Barry Ledger. Shows the ball, running forward, looking for the way through, trying to get in the game, just over the halfway line. Lip trots, moves it left, over to Arkwright, Paul Farber running hard, beats one, shrugs two off, finally brought down by three Salford Saddlers. Graham Lip trots, moves it right to Neil Olin, and again to Arkey, Arkey looking for the way through. Neil Holding, acting half-back, down to Graham, lip trot, no, done with section on his own, lip trot comes round the loop, brilliant bit of individual play there by Graham, lip trot, obviously a planned move, approaching the halfway line now, Neil Holding, acting half-back, takes it left to Arkwright, to Brett Clark, Brett Clark, looking for the way through, oh, a siding gap by Brett Clark, brought midway down in Salford half, 
Last tackle now, Graham Littrot. Kicks through, Vivas following the ball. It's a fledge, he's done a try by Phil Vivas. A brilliant follow-up try to an uncharacteristic lip trot kick. Well, Alex, what about this fella? Well, rather, I must confess, I thought it was a... The kick from Phil, from uh, Graham Liptrot, uh, at least it turned the Salford defence. I didn't think for a moment that uh, there would necessarily be an end product, but, uh, well, the golden boy does it again. Uh, a lightning uh, sprint. The typical, well, now typical, flourishing uh, dive, and it's an yet another try. Very, very slack Salford defence, Ron. Yes, yeah, luckily lining up to uh, take this uh, conversion kick. Shouldn't have any problem. Slots it between the sticks. 32 points to four. Saints lead now. As we said, brilliant try by Vivas. A uh, uh, lip trot uh, little kick through on the last tattle. Didn't look as though there was any danger. Fletcher very pedestrian by the posts. Uh, Vivas hurrying up. And uh, as Fletcher turned round, uh, just caught sight of him. But it was too late. Vivas dropped on the ball. And uh, another six points to Saints. Saints certainly come to life this uh, after 25 minutes of this second half. Graham Littrop moves it left to Arkwright, to Paul Farber, looking to unload, but a good Salford tattling bundles him down. Liptrot again. Takes it left, Chris Arkwright looking for the gap through. Lovely pass to uh, Steve Halliwell. Pushes one, pushes two, gets the ball out. R referee rules a knock on. He was facing his own line, lip trot, his own try line, but the ball did come towards the Salford try line. Scrum down, just inside Saints half. Darren Blewett to feed this scrum. Two scrums each this second half. Ball comes out Salford side. Take it left, looking for the gap through. Very difficult to distinguish these Salford numbers uh, and this floodlit game tonight. Salford with a quick play of the ball. Take the ball uh, another 25 yards towards the Saints try line. Salford on the attack. A rare excursion into Saints half. And, uh, oh! Little bit of descent shown there by the Salford player. If they re remembered where he was as he went to uh, take a kick at the Saints player. But uh, no harm done. Obviously annoyed with himself for knocking on. Saints making a substitute now. Graham Liptrot coming off. Bernard Dwyer coming on. Where Eight minutes to go in this second half, and we're going to miss Liptrot's workmanlike performance. Very good in the loose, Graham Liptrot. Neil Olin to feed this scrum. Ball out Saint side. Out to Bill Beavers. Neil Olin acting half back. Takes it right over to Paul Lachlan. Ooh. The very robust Salford tattling there. Referee Berry walking over now. What uh, looked to us over here to be a rather high tattle, but uh, the referee and the linesman wasn't seeing anything anyway. He's up on his feet. He plays the ball. Saints coming forward. Ball round on the dummy run, but the ball comes inside to Arkwright. Arkwright breaks through on his own. Just finally brought down just by held by his shirt sleeve. Last tattle now. Bernard Dwyer acting half back. Moves it left. Neil Holding going to kick up uh, field. Cross kick. Deep into the Salford half. Salford winger for Zachary. Takes the ball. Slings it out to Fletcher. Salford over the 25 yard line. Running through. 
Oh, finally brought down. But she kicked out in the tattle to Neil Holden. Still prone on the ground. Salford looking lively. Just brought down on the halfway line. Gets up to play the ball. Looks as though he was on his way. Uh, Paul Lockley making sure he didn't uh, get away. But Salford uh, given a penalty kick. Well, Alex, I thought he was going to get away, though. Yes, uh, a very similar incident to uh, at the uh, play of the ball, lashing out, very dangerous play, not penalised penalised by Mr Berry on Neil Holding. Arkwright was penalised for it, very inconsistent refereeing. Thank you, Alex. Salford on the attack now, Saints 25-yard line, Peter Glynn looking for the way through. The dummy there, tries to unload the ball. Ball come back, referee said it's OK, Salford still in possession. Fletcher looking for a way through, bundled down by Paul Round. <laughs> Little chip kicked through there by the Salford, out to Winger Bentley. To basketball attack there. Paul Round retrieves the ball, unfortunately. Oh, Ledger, Ledger gets hold of the ball. High tattle again. Mr. Berry not interested, Ledger still going through. Perhaps uh, say it's a bit shabby at the back there when uh, Round threw the ball out, but uh, all went well. Paul Farber now with the ball, approaching the halfway line. Paul Lachlan acting half back, moves it left to Arkwright, looking for the way through again. Referee shouts held. Out to Lachlan. Unceremoniously dumped just short of the halfway line. Deep ball back to Neil Holding. He kicks up field. Well fielded by Darren Bluer. Salford on the attack now. Two men here. Bentley, wingman Bentley. Brett Clark has him. Oh, takes him into touch. Brilliant, brilliant round the legs. Uh, Tattler from Black Brett Clark, Alex. Yes, uh, obviously this is a settling in uh, game for Brett Clark, but I think he's shown enough, uh, certainly in this second half, to uh, suggest that he's going to be quite an acquisition for the Saints this coming season. Exactly what the Saints needed, uh, a standoff half, playmaker, finisher. Scrum down there, Saints uh, win the scrum. Neil Alden coming away with the ball. That's a Brett Clark acting half back over to Arkwright. Arkwright looking for the way through. Siding run by Arkwright. Right through. Throws the ball out. Referee Berry Roos a forward pass. And a scrum down just inside Saints half. Scrum down there and Salford come away with the ball. Three minutes to go in this, roughly three minutes to go in the second half. Shabby ball there by Salford. Uh, ball out to Austin. Look at, oh, throws a ball out to Bentley. Intercepted by Kevin McCormick. And he hurls over just to the left of the post. Brilliant taking ball. Well read there by uh, young McCormick, Alex. Well, uh, as long as he could catch a ball, the try there for the wing was always on. Took it well past, uh, once again, a thoroughly uh, dispirited Salford side now. And that really is the, uh, the final straw for them. Um, talking about player of the match, uh, Ron, my choice, I think, uh, when the going was tough in the first half, Chris Arkwright took the eye. I would go for him. Uh, what about yourself? Well, uh, I don't know, Alex. I think I'll uh, stick with Phil Beavers again tonight. I think he's had a good game. He's linked up well. Take nothing away from Arkwright. Our best forward, I would say, for uh, piercing breaks. But uh, Round and uh, Paul Farber, Lip Trot played well. Arkwright perhaps just the edge on the forwards. Paul Lachlan lining up now for this conversion. Yes, just inside the right-hand post. 
38 points to 4 cents in the lead now. At least uh, for once we can't give Roy Haggerty the man of the match performance, but never mind. Thank you, Alex. Salford to kick off now. Perhaps just over a minute left in this half. John Allen comes away with the ball. Out to Paul Farber. John Allen acting half-back. Moves this ball left over to Bernard Dwyer. Neil Olin takes the ball, acting half-back over to Arkwright. Swings the ball over the right to Paul Round. Long ball out, a lovely ball. Floated ball to Ledger. Just brought down on the halfway line. The lad was on the ground. The Salford uh, Tattlers bundle into him. Make no mistake. Saints bring it left. Bernard Dwyer with the ball, looking to straighten up. No support with him. Tip Salford take the ball off him. Referee reckons he's uh, shouted held. Uh, scrum down now, just inside Saints half. <coughs> Probably the last scrum of the match. Penalty to uh, Salford, a quick tap, uh, play the ball out to Peter Glynn. Looking to Austin, well bundled down. All on full time now. Austin to play the ball out to Bluer. Moving it left to uh, Peter Glynn. Left again to Schubert. Salford really in, uh, well, not in at all this uh, second half. Penalty to Salford again, fair quick uh, play the ball. Play it quick behind the referee's back, and then he has the cheek to uh, penalise us for offside. Uh, by Paul Farber. Anyway, they're going for touch this time. Good deep kick into Saints half. Probably the last chance to uh, get the chance of a try. It's all for play the ball. Move it left to Bluer to Smith. Groves acting half back. Who's this ball left? To Bluer. Look at the way through. Bundled down on 25 yard line and Brett Clark comes away with the ball. To Paul Lachlan. Paul Lachlan looking for the way through. Bit of a skirmish in the middle of the field. The referee finally gets over. As it flows up again. The referee very a bit slow getting in there but uh, Bringing Arkwright out and uh, one of the Salford, Schubert, I think it is. Yes, Schubert, number 10. Strict words with them both. Panatitis and Tellings. Yell all in. Quick tap. Oh, to Bernard Dwyer. Bernard Dwyer straightens up, looking for the support. A bit, oh, a bit, uh, bit of aggressive tattling there by Mylan. And there's the final hooter. Saints, uh, easy winners, 38 points to four. Salford started off very well, but uh, had penalty kicks in the 11th and the 14th minutes by Austin. But uh, nothing else, never looked like scoring a try. Saints only putting it together late in the first half, and... Uh, then put it together in the second half. But Alex, good convincing performance in the end. Yes, uh, Saints totally dominated the second half, came out with a much more positive approach. The backing up, the support, the keen tackling. Well, four points out of four, what a good start. Thank you, Alex.